Hey, good morning everybody. I'm really excited about today's video. I've got a really cool map here. Uh, this map was given to me by Yasser Malaika, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, Yasser, uh, from Valve, uh, who gave this map to me, who showed this map to me, uh, which is demonstrating the ideal gas law. What we have in front of us is a small container, a small room, filled with particles that are acting like molecules. These particles are, of course, spheres from the game covered in blue repulsion gel. They're bouncing off each other and bouncing around the room. This is a great example and a great way of simulating a gas, uh, gas molecules moving around inside some container. There's some pressure being exerted by the molecules hitting the walls. There's some volume that it's in. It's at some temperature because the, pro the particles are moving at some speed, so they have to have temperature. In other words, we have everything we need to study the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law says that PV equals NRT, where P is pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles in a substance, R is the ideal gas constant, and T is temperature. Using this relationship and this uh, puzzle, we can have a little bit of fun. Let's go ahead and start off by making this room a little bit smaller. So right now, that button is bringing the back wall forward. We can see now that the room is actually significantly smaller. Uh, if you were paying attention to the question at the beginning, uh, you would have seen that our initial volume was 82 cubic units. Right now it's at 18 cubic units, so it's significantly dropped. Our problem asks us to find how the pressure at the end, pressure now that the room is smaller, compares to the pressure initially. We're also going to assume that temperature is constant. Uh, we're doing that because at the moment it'd be a little bit First off, it makes it a little bit easier, and second off, there's a little bit of speculation involved of what's going on uh, with what's going on with the temperature here. If you pay close attention to the molecules as they're bouncing off the walls, we can see that as they hit the walls, they're actually bouncing up. They do never they never bounce downwards after they hit the walls. They're always bouncing up. That's a quirk of the repulsion gel, and um, that makes me a little little skeptical of whether or not we can eyeball it here and say that, well, it looks like they're moving faster. It does look like they're moving faster, but we don't know for sure. So for the time being, we're just going to go ahead and assume that temperature is constant. That being said, to find uh, the difference, uh, to find a factor by which the pressures increase, we'll be doing the final pressure divided by the initial pressure. Uh, if we go ahead and plug in, we find that NRT is being divided by NRT, and given that NR and T are all constants, we have NRT divided by NRT, which cancels out, and we're left with an initial volume divided by the final volume. That's going to leave us with 4.5. In other words, the pressure in the room has gone up, or it has increased, by a factor of 4.5 by making the room smaller. This is a very cool, very fun, very exciting way of showing a different kind of physics inside Portal 2. Portal 2 is not built with thermodynamics in mind. I'm going to go ahead and make the room a little bit bigger. Uh, it was not built with thermodynamics in mind. Uh, this game was built with mechanics in mind. This game follows the laws of mechanics, but since the laws of thermodynamics are basically just large-scale mechanics with a lot, a lot of... Uh, stuff happening at once, a lot of particles bouncing around at once. Uh, by creating a situation with the Puzzle Maker and Portal 2 that resembles something we would have in thermodynamics, the engine does a good job of simulating it. It's a very cool, very exciting technique, and it goes to show that the limits of this game at the moment are just the educators or the students' creativity. There's a lot you can do with it, a lot of really neat, exciting ways of having fun in the classroom, and I recommend any student or educator to check it out. Uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them on my blog, physicswithportals.com, or on the YouTube video. I love being proven wrong. If I said something stupid, please correct me. If you have something to say, I would love to hear it. That's going to be it for today, guys, and take care.